All right. Today is September 5th, and I have two of the most amazing people I have ever had an opportunity to interview. It was about two years ago when it came to my attention of this pastor in Canada. He was holding a mass, and the police came in, and he literally called him out and his vir the video went completely viral because they were trying to shut down his services and he called them nazis and the pastor that i'm speaking about is arthur pawlowski those of you who know the name you can google it he's all over the internet of how he has been standing up and standing firm on the rock on the word of Christ. When Arthur himself stated, you know, get out of here, Nazis, he knew what he was talking about because basically his lineage, his family is from Europe. That was directly involved with what was going on with Nazis and how well, the first thing they always do, besides take away your guns, okay, is what do they do? They shut down the Bible. He's driving home from service on, I believe it was Sunday, a couple of years ago in March of 2021 a bunch of police officers surround him handcuff him and drag him off to jail people this is our neighbors in canada that this is going off on why because oh did arthur hit a trigger he called them by who they are it's very fascinating bo that every single time from the very beginning of them attacking us, there's always the common thing. They're telling me from the very beginning, when they offered me $2 million, they said, we'll give you money, we'll give you land, build yourself a church, and do not engage anywhere in public. Every single time that I was attacked was- Bow down to me and I will make you a king on the earth. That is what they told Jesus in the wilderness. And he said, what? Get behind me, Satan. And that is what they offered you. And they offered me everything. I mean, I was offered a guaranteed seat at the legislature if I turn on the people. I was offered a government nice job, $250,000 a year. I was offered titles. So one guy wanted to give me a medal if I betray the people. You know, what I heard very clearly was when they arrested Trump within 30 days, watch out. You got to remember who the devil is. He's just, and, and listen to me, he is just a creation. He is not a creator. But God allows certain things to happen because the word, as you know, Bo, must be fulfilled to the dot. So here is what I saw. I saw a fence and I could not see the end of that fence. And I knew right away that the fence represents the entire world. People were sitting on a fence. And then I saw two powerful hands. I've never seen more powerful hands than those that God showed me. And I knew immediately those hands belonged to God. He grabbed the fence and he violently, listen, violently. It was not just a gentle thing. It was a violent move of God. When he was done, Bo, when he was done shaking, no one was sitting on the fence and he spoke to me. And here is what he said. You do not want to miss this entire interview. Click the link below and enjoy the show.